what are the kind of challenges they faced uh, you have money and you have no clue how to manage that money that also is a very very scary situation so your mom was teaching right so how was her journey when it comes to you know financial independence the one is you make money second is you also need to understand what are the various financial instruments wherein you should invest hello everyone welcome to shiksha se shakti and today we have kanu from tata aia life hi kanu how are you hi pyle and thanks for inviting me kanu let's begin by understanding a bit about your journey your family your childhood days okay uh my mom she was a lecturer in psychology she taught in a weird college for i think 30 35 odd years my father again on the the teaching research side he was uh, a part of the uh, the university and he was a part of the horticulture department uh, so i come from a background wherein both my parents they have paid utmost importance to education what were your parents like you said your mom was teaching right so how was her journey when it comes to financial independence small things wherein we see normally you know wives as homemakers depending on their husbands because she used to have that kind of a control because she used to earn on her own she used to do that saving on her part that okay this much this money should go into saving so that she can have a lesser tax angle to it so saying that yes females are supposed to be financially independent and they can equally contribute to the household uh, is something that i've only seen the first level interaction or the first experience that i've seen is with my mom others in my family majority of the females you know my buas or my masis i would say they were not financially independent so i do understand what kind of hardships they ultimately saw especially when they lost their husbands it was embedded in us that yes you have to be financially independent so that you have your dreams you have your little passions that you can then you know fulfill on your own rather than every penny you have to take a permission from somebody and then spend so i would rather say that yes my mom has played a very very important role in setting that example for me so kanu like you mentioned that there were some females in your family who were who had seen certain hardships so could you please elaborate on you know what are the kind of challenges they faced uh, in their journey right so all the times i would say that you know people were or rather females especially didn't have any kind of financial knowledge right so let's say my bua ji who lost her uh, husband we were totally helter skelter or rather i should say the family was was you know one you going through that emotional turmoil right and then you also have no clue as to how do you manage your two kids where all your your husband had invested where are the pockets so you have like no financial knowledge and plus you also not knowing that whatever money if at all you getting how do you manage that money so that that helps you meet the milestones of your you know kids so it was sad to see that my aunt going through that time wherein she had to depend on others and there were people who also took advantage of her not uh, of her rather that handicap that financial handicap or that lack of knowledge because you know when somebody says that okay you have money and you have no clue how to manage that money that also is a very very scary situation so i would rather say that the times have changed thankfully now people do understand that one is you make money second is you also need to understand what are the various financial instruments retiring taking early retirement so how do you accumulate that kind of wealth and what are the instruments which will help you meet that goal so then probably your child's education so education i think this is a sector which has which has seen inflation which is skyrocketing okay so the kind of fee that i pay now you know for my own kid I extremely zapped he being a sixth grader and the kind of education uh, you know fee that my parents would have paid this it is it has grown zillion times but to provide for their education and the quality education you have to be financially prepared so i would rather say that making money is one so financially being independent is one but at the same time you having that financial knowledge so that you can manage that money equally well is the second thing that you should have at on the at the top of your list